Yeah, that was our former head of state, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungo, with a host following him around town and the police weren't too happy about that. But before we get into the show, please do subscribe. Uh, a lot of you that view the channel have not yet subscribed and please do leave a comment. It's very encouraging. See you on the other side. Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. You're welcome to Monday show. Monday is for the political segment of the show. Wednesdays are the educative segment and Fridays are for Bible talks where you have to bring your shouting clothes. I hope you're following the personality of God series on Bible talks. That's been an interesting series, even for me. I've been learning a lot as I've, as I've been explaining uh, stuff to you. And I hope you're following that. Yeah, Mondays are for the political segment. You're welcome to the show, Amazing Minds, Zambia's first late night show. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit that bell and share. We have a lot in store for you today on the show. And I think it will be interesting. We have some news about former President Edgar Lungo, as you saw from the pre-intro video, how he was walking with a host throughout town and the police aren't too amused by that so the show is available mondays wednesdays and fridays 20 hours central african time and you can listen to the podcast on google podcasts apple podcasts and spotify i'm here with mr chafaya how are you sir, doing sir i'm good how are you i'm a blessed guy i'm a blessed guy uh, okay yeah you look good thank you yeah you look good too you look like you've been going to the gym. Thank you. <laughs> no, I haven't. For the record, I haven't. Oh, you haven't. <laughs> uh, I actually don't like uh, the attitude of people at the gym. Yeah. Mostly. <laughs> I mean, not everyone. They always think they can beat everyone. Ah, serious. Yeah. Why don't you be the guy for the gym with a different attitude? Look at that. It's hard because that's why I'm saying that. There could be some people with good attitude. Or maybe in Simbizi Mangenesa attitude. Like the more you, the more you lift, it produces an attitude maybe, plus without maybe, you knowing. <laughs> maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Plus, just the aspect of uh, you, equipment, China. I think I don't just like. Oh, it. Bon Savoy. Do we still call those blazers? What nice jacket? Oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, do we still call them blazers? In the UK, probably. Ah, because I'm going to blaze up as well. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's, <laughs> it's, it's my own, own ass, by the way. Huh? Serious? <laughs> Wait, is blaze a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever it is, I mean it in a good way. Yeah, okay. okay. No, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you guys tell us what you think about the show so far. If you've been following the show, we hope this episode will be better than the last one you watched. Uh, please leave your comment. Tell us what you think about the show, what you'd like us to talk about. And... Look forward to the Wednesday show. We are bringing guests starting soon. We've been redoing some old, ep some old episodes, almost eight episodes, some old, <laughs> some old episodes, uh, just so we can let those that did not watch them before when they were shot with poorer quality, uh, be able to watch them now with the better quality. And so we are bringing back Wednesday show soon with 
an improved quality. I'm sure you can see that the Monday show has improved from the very <laughs> first ones. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's an ever it's a moving target, ever improving, ever increasing, and that's why we are so grateful to everyone that decides to engage with our content, whether by liking, by sharing, by viewing, or what else do people do? Or subscribing, hitting the sharing. notification bell. Oh, come back there, sharing. Yeah, I said sharing, but he's re-emphasized it. Sharing. Mm. It's very important that you engage with this content in order to not only encourage us, but help the algorithm pick up the stuff so that more people can be reached by the content. Mm. Yeah, so uh, as you know, we've mentioned this before, the show is here to entertain, educate, and inform you and particularly the monday show we hope to be very informative for you for those of you that don't know where to source out your news we find it pleasurable to re-report the news to you yeah if you want don't watch the news for the whole week just yeah. come to amazing minds on monday you have all the lowdown exactly you <laughs> we'll get a good recap yeah <laughs> we'll do all the research for you and we'll just bring you the information exactly <laughs> exactly so imagine News headlines with a touch of Bahatram and Chafaya. You see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's why Parast about episodes. Episodes. Uh, if you watched episodes of the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today we have a couple of things on the on the on the rundown, as you said, right? Mm. Um for starters. Shika Pwasha's case, uh, the late Reverend Ronnie Shika Pwasha's case, takes off. He was Lieutenant General or? Yeah, Lieutenant General. Yeah, Lieutenant he General. Was the Air Commander at some point. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, we heard of a sad case. We actually reported We reported on this case actually a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago. I don't know if you, you'll still be able to find the, the episode. Was it one of the episodes you guys took down? Mm, you took some down. <laughs> yeah to kind of declutter the channel okay i don't know whether you guys will be able to find that there but we reported on this case uh ronish kapwasha was shot and we it was a bit there was not much detail given to us even about his death when exactly he died and uh who shot him but some news has come to light or rather some details have come to light which uh will be of interest to you, so we'll be discussing that. Shika Pasha's case takes off as witness, gives some gruesome revelations. Then we'll discuss energy regulation board. I almost began actually talking mm. about it. I forgot. I was. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then we'll discuss energy regulation board, rather. Yeah, excited about it? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's an interesting story. Uh, yeah. You said gruesome. Yeah, I did. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> Someone once said, "He who th he who laughs last mm. thinks the slowest." Guns <laughs> <laughs> but laughs the loudest. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So, Energy Regulation Board ERB chairperson uh, Reynolds Boa has been fired due to a lack of confidence or vote of no confidence, as they say. Mm. And the police issues a warning to ex-Republican President Edgar Lungo over the video that uh, you saw pre-intro, mm -hmm. where he was walking with a host. I like to use the word host, time for Bible talks. Uh, I like to use the word host because the Bible says people came to David day by day to assist him until his host grew and became like the host of God. Uh, every entourage that we see of presidents, world leaders, is simply a copycat of what God has. God has a host. And so when you see a world leader walking with entourages of people, that's yeah. mimicking of God. So yeah, anyway, that was our Bible Talks lesson for today. You can catch okay. Bible Talks Fridays, 20 hours, Center of so Time. So the Amine host from dictionary, it gives us that definition? Yes, a host oh. means armies. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so he, he's called the Lord of Hosts. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I've learned today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so ready for the show? Myself? Yeah. I was born ready. You were born ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, I did not kill my husband. Mrs. Shikap Washer tells the court, 73-year-old Jen Lusengo has denied killing her husband, Lieutenant General Ronnie Shikap Washer, appearing before the Lusaka High Court. The accused has pleaded not guilty to one account of murder. Yeah, so... Uh, before, the way the story came out was like, this was a case of murder due to the infidelity of the, of the general. Well, this was what was in the grapevine, of the course, rumors yes, yes, that we were true. hearing. Yeah. Yes. And some people went to the extents of giving such erroneous stories like 
he was going out with the daughter's with son's daughter uh, girlfriend or something like that <laughs> now <laughs> we can talk about that grapevine in detail oh yeah now i can talk <laughs> about the grapevine in detail <laughs> now that we know it's a li- uh, or at least we think it's a lie uh, at least according to the witness at least according to the yeah. witness uh, testimony we think it's uh, a bit of a sketchy story so yeah. let me give you a bit of a a summary according to the witness so has been reported anyway uh they had an argument mr shikapwasha or late general shikapwasha may so rest in peace and the wife had an uh, a disagreement due to her infidelity as a matter of fact it's reported that his last words were you see jen you have killed me due to your infidelity did you see that part yeah, that part was just a bit oh yeah and apparently chills. she actually she said he kept on saying it over and over again oh she kept he kept on saying it over and over again eh? to her, yeah. that that Even must be very going to the hospital that must be traumatizing for her regardless of how much of a rock you have in your chest for your heart mm. that is not easy to hear from someone you just shot who's dying mm. never shot someone before but i can only imagine <laughs> <laughs> he watch movies <laughs> i watch movies where they shoot each other trying yeah. to reduce but yeah yeah there was also a case of a uh, thing uh divorcement oh yes yeah. yes 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 apparently yes. he had signed a bill of divorce divorcement to divorce the wife for her infidelity mm. apparently uh, it's strange at 73 mm. You wouldn't think people are still playing around at 73. Well, I, I I've just never imagined mm. that people at 73 would still be. I don't think if Fidelity is playing around really. Oh, I, that's I, interesting. Of course a lot of people that, say that. Yeah, no, that's that's interesting. I'd like to around. I would like to hear your your view uh, on that. If Fidelity mostly what is involved is the intimacy, the you know, most like mostly the sex and everything. Would you suppose it's done in secret? it suggested this mm. was being done in secret but of course yes doesn't that qualify Almost. for playing around oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, to me playing around is like you know you're having fun and yeah you know, you no know. no okay it's like chef 187 once said in yeah. one of his older songs chimoneni kanonga echo ubushiko pa makona na rich you understand eh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here we are talking about the infidelity or the playing around of infidelity right exactly yeah, the fact that say, they have to sneak around probably okay. have to book multiple lodges and okay. what not yeah 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 cuz my vida ndo makamba ama sobera Oh yeah, yeah. okay no no not the maybe clubbing type and whatnot but no, 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 I mean yeah, the Soviet yeah. Kwame oh, oh, Soviet Kwame Kwame. Ah, yeah. also you understand the context now, now I get yeah, it, yeah. okay yeah. so ima- just imagine a 73 year old going yeah. to a lodge to book like uh, what what excuse was she giving I don't think they would suspect that Why she's booking it for where was it? Uh, anyway uh, <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. <laughs> By the way, please do subscribe, hit that bell and share, hit the like button as well if yeah. you like what you see. And again, we'll keep on uh, giving you the this story. We'll keep on following it as it goes because Yeah, it's a, it's a developing story. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have the next uh, sessions next week actually. Oh, this week, sorry. This week that we started, oh. we're going to have our sessions. Yeah, I think tomorrow is the first session. Okay. Yeah. So Tomorrow being Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, so you know, for me I'll just reiterate that it's just I feel bad for the family and the and the children especially because yeah. the witness also is she's a, she's a daughter. Yeah. Vanessa, yeah. So, yeah, it it feels it's it's a bad situation. I can only imagine what they're going through the family. Yeah. yeah. Must be very traumatic. Um when you read also the account of the witness testimony, you hear how there was general confusion mm-hmm. after she uh supposedly mm. uh, or allegedly mm. shot him mm. she came out of the room wondering yeah. in some state of confusion and the first thing she thought of was i want to hide the gun mm. so this is someone who killed her husband without the thought of going to jail it's not like she said okay nafi nafi mm. nafi mm. what what what, what mm. can you like ukutakata to feel it amun sing <laughs> okay. Thrown in the towel. Thrown in the towel. Oh <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the ponya ponya. Hey, tapi ponya. Okay, na chipuse mpunga. Yeah, so she she did not do it with the attitude of saying, "Okay, I don't care if I go to jail." Uh maybe she shot him accidentally. I uh, know we don't know that. We can't even say that she didn't really think of going to jail. 
you know. Aye. Yeah. Probably no, but the fact, very the fact that she she's saying, let me hide the gun, mm-hmm. doesn't that suggest also the son comes in and rehearses a testimony with her saying, mm-hmm. no, what you're going to explain to the police is this and this. It means there was no intention of going to. Okay. It mm-hmm. suggests. At Which least. part is that now? The in, son, the, in the story, the, yeah. the, the son later on came. The, mm-hmm. You remember uh, when you read the story, the son had gone out mm-hmm. with the car. Mm-hmm. That's why they were waiting. That's why they couldn't. Okay, no, 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 I didn't see the, that. The one that could drive okay. had left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Yes, yeah so right, the, when okay. he came back, the guy, uh-huh. that, that's why they couldn't start off. Uh, uh-huh. to go oh, to the yeah, hospital. because the guy, the, the, the people didn't, couldn't drive. Yes. Yeah, so when yeah. he came back, apparently he began to rehearse with her. Oh, yes. I the, didn't see that part. By the way, this is all alleged. Yeah, <laughs> okay. he began to <laughs> rehearse with her, okay. telling her, no, you say it like this, say it like that. Mm-hmm. That's why, to me, it kind of feels like mm. it's, she, she had no intention of going to jail. Maybe she actually pulled the trigger mistakenly. Yeah, again, also, we can't know because according to even the witnesses, the, there was no one else in that room. Yeah. So we could be here saying uh, it was infidelity. Maybe that man was talking because he was about to die. Yeah. That was his brain now doing tricks. But Maybe from the way, they, the, one from the, way the daughter the one. was talking about it, it's uh, like a known story. That's a secret. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be that. I'm just saying Aye. that. Yeah, at the end of the day, there were the two of them in the room. So yeah, we can't yeah. really know what really happened. Yeah. Yeah. No, as a prophet, I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> ah, but as, as well, as things stand, you don't have to be a prophet. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> as things stand, you don't have to be a prophet to see some kind of pattern. Yeah. To understand. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, that's true. That's true. Um. So, yeah, that's what happened. Those were some of his last words. Uh, Jen, you have yeah. killed me due to your infidelities. Mm. And it's a sad story, developing story. Mm. We, Our thoughts and prayers are with the family. Mm. And for now, I guess we can put our thoughts and prayers in suspension until proven innocent. Yeah, uh, but as well, uh, just like you, my thoughts and prayers are with the family. Uh, I think that even with the woman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, as a Christian, the woman who's going through I was only following in Chofia's footsteps last week. He refused <laughs> <laughs> to send the thoughts and prayers to <laughs> uh, no, so me, I'm not doing it because I'm a Christian. I'm just being realistic. I mean, yeah, yeah, because also you know our minds are something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when stuff stuff like that it, to the extreme happens, I mean, yeah. So my heart goes out also to the family. And if you want to keep following this, press that subscribe button, notification bell, just ping it and leave a like. Yep. You will see the next episode when we talk about this. In fact, probably next week we'll bring you some new, yeah. new stories we'll, about we'll this. We'll be in the courtroom, case. put you some videos here. We'll be there, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of witness testimonies. <laughs> that, for, the, for that one, is on his own. Uh, we just have to relocate before we do that. <laughs> yeah, or we'll upload it from the airport. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, vote of no confidence, board of directors at Energy Regulation Board, that's interesting. Mm. Energy Regulation Board has a board of directors. Wow. Okay. Mm. ARB has... It's a board. Uh, it's a board, eh? Ah, okay, Energy, okay, okay, okay. You understand okay. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> board, young kind of board. Hey, the board has a board. Yeah, so ARB has, uh, has fired their chairperson uh, due to a lack of... A vote of no confidence. Government has revoked the appointment of ERB chairperson Reynolds Boa. The board last week passed the vote of no confidence in BOA following the approval of Zesco's electricity tariff adjustment, which has been, which has since been effected. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not only the citizens mm. that are complaining about the rates of things on the energy side of things. Mm. Fuel, electricity, even the board of ERB. Guys, the board of ERB is shocked that the tariffs are still going high. Yeah. To the extent that they have no confidence in the chairperson. <laughs> yeah, to me, actually, this is a dangerous situation. Yeah. Because, yeah, in, in the sense that, you know, ERB is a, is a parastator. Yeah. Its mandate is to regulate the energy sector. Yeah. So if we're getting interference from the government, which I smell around this thing, if we're getting interference from the government, it means we're in shambles. So here's my... my, my because these are supposed I, to be a professional what I'm board. What not regulators. understanding is mm. who constitutes the board of ERB? Is it the government? No, no, no. It's not government workers. So, so why, why are they? They seem to be using it interchange, interchangeably here. Mm-hmm. They're saying government has revoked the appointment. Yeah, so because the government is the one that appoints. You see, oh, this is so the problem they... with our system. With our systems, mm, mm, mm. that's why I'm saying this is a danger. When it, because already our systems have got a problem, but if okay. you start interfering directly like this, it's a big problem. So what you mean is the board submitted their decision to the government, then the government acted upon it. 
I'm trying to see where the connection is between the so, board okay, having a vote of no confidence. So, okay, I understand. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. So to me now, this is what I'm saying that because these people are at the mercy of government, mm. so the board can be influenced by government. Oh yeah. Oh okay. To okay. do that. Oh, I understand. Exactly. I understand. So uh, that government yeah. should revoke and have a basis. Okay. To say we did this because the board revoked. Yeah. 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 Does it really make sense? What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Does it make sense that the board of ERB would have a vote of no confidence in their chairperson for the increase in tariffs? Um, don't and you also, think they should have been part of the decision making? Yes. You see, that's that's the other point. Yeah. Because this thing has been ongoing. Yeah. We know that this came from the cost of service stud. Exactly. So this is not new. It's not like he woke up from his house and did it. I know, like because that's how it looks. Th like this is right like now. a, a sleep, uh, a ship being led to the slaughter. <laughs> he's he's a sacrificial lamb that they are using yeah, for a decision that. that many people made. Mm. This is all alleged. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> going on in his life, boy. But if I was him, I would have been happy about this. Yeah. Because now you know he was the face of all this, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. When we hear you look at look at his hair, his hair is announcing. gray like all over because he's stressed. <laughs> Let him go and rest. <laughs> yeah, a pro pro hack. There are a lot of people who have got gray hair, but you don't know because they die. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean. Oh. <sighs> you know the word die. The word die. I thought it was die. Die like oh, dye. Okay. No, they dye their hair. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. A lot of people have gray hair, but they dye their How hair. How old is our president? Except yeah. for some Miratuna. <laughs> stress. Oh, quite uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Our president must be 60 something. 60, he's he's like. in the 60s. 60. Yeah. He should be in the 60s. 60 something. Mm. Yeah. So 64, he's. 64, 65. He still looks quite young, though. Do you think he dyes his hair? I don't think he's reached that I stage think he yet. Does. I, I think he naturally I've looks. I've never young. seen a strand of white hair on it. Uh, that's yeah. that's why I think he hasn't reached the stage yet. There's always that one hair. That. My friend, Mavute am Zambia. Even we am banana munda na thirty five years. Aren't you the seventh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky because maybe I'm not going through a lot of problems. Yeah. Maybe I'm like H. <laughs> that's why Mule inai. Atukuli abu ino no kulara pana ka. What? Yeah, by the way, he's just got powder and got his place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm this what close. Saying, I'm what? this close to revealing the area. <laughs> Busy fire, fire chair, but chair persons when power is not I going. Guess, it is, I don't know what. It's what? the power at his place that's not going. That is I making. I for don't the understand deficit. what this guy is saying. Honestly, I don't. The, I don't the deficit is coming from yeah, the power that's not on? going at his Wait, place. is in the news. Oh Wait, yeah, show yeah, them the yeah, yeah, yeah. As is our custom, <laughs> Mr. Moeto has to feature on the show. By the way, we are preparing a seat for him. Maybe he'll become the third. <laughs> The third chair on the show. <laughs> Mr. Moetua. Elected officials, we know that even if an announcement must come, there should be timing to reach, to give people an opportunity to adjust. In this particular case, the few upward adjustment or fluctuation should have been given an opportunity for the citizens to begin to absorb that shock which came because it was unanticipated and therefore you can't mutatis mutandis there and there announce another increase what time do citizens have to stabilize the shocks that will come with those adjustments so it is right there I guess that's the justification for firing our dear board chairperson of the I'm, ERB. I'm actually beginning to like him, huh? uh, Mr. Mwetwa. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Because it, feel, it feels like he's a, it's a scapegoat. He's yeah. a scapegoat. Ah, did I just say that? He's a scapegoat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because what was Mr. Mwetwa saying, honestly? Did you get what he was saying? He was saying, therefore, you can't. <laughs> Mutatis mutandis. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like his, his statement was neither here nor there. He wasn't saying yeah, anything. Yeah, you know, it to was, me, yeah. actually, it emphasizes what I was saying that, you know, this is not good that we're having government interfere like this. Yeah. Because, actually, I think that he came out because a lot of people were like, you know, why why did you fire him? Eh, why? Like, for a, a lot of people a were The board fired understand. him for a decision they made. So he had, yeah. So now him, he had now to sort of try to clear the air. 
yeah. and make it more confused actually. Oh, yeah. at, uh, when when I was in uni, we had this strategy mm-hmm. during exams. Mm-hmm. If they give you questions you don't know, mm-hmm. give them answers they don't know. In a handwriting, <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> yeah, in a handwriting, they don't know. <laughs> Did you ever use like such a confusing handwriting on a part you don't know, maybe in an essay or something? So yeah, they, I think so. The teacher just... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a long time ago in high school. Yeah, I, we yeah. did it in uni. <laughs> okay. As yeah. well in college, I wrote, I wrote, eh? I wrote a lot of stuff that, you know, I've, I was just writing. So yeah. I'd be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quanti, uh, quantity quantity quantity. Quantity. <laughs> hey, confuse them so that they just mark. Uh, yeah, yeah, so to yeah. me now, they are, they are just confirming to us what we are thinking that he's just a scapegoat. Yeah. They want to look like they are in it with the people because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. What he's saying is not saying that they shouldn't have increased. He's saying that the timing is the yeah. most wrong. Okay, how else would they have timed it? By the way, anyway. In fact, to me, it's better you do them fast, fast, pa, 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 we start dealing with it. So, yeah, so I start dealing with it. Not later, much a few. Next, next three week months week from it. now, you don't know what we're about to do to you, few boys. Muzachi <laughs> <laughs> the next three months. <laughs> No, wait. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, to me, this is, you see, I don't know. Maybe it's because there's a, you know, yeah. It's like, these are the effects of of Mr. Mwetwa's statement. It's dumbfounding. We Mm. don't know what he's saying. Mm. Uh, I guess we have to move on. And you should have you should have let the citizen absorb first yeah. <laughs> that story of yeah of the fuel. Hey, can That's you when you can bring this other story, <laughs> guys. Mm-hmm. As if there will be no increment next month. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> it's coming fast. <laughs> so we had um, a very surprising incident. Honestly speaking, I don't know what all this was about. But take a look. Yeah, that was Mr. Lungo and his host moving around town to whether <laughs> whether disrupt dis- disrupt traffic or <laughs> pose a threat or exercise yeah. demo. I I really don't know. What mm-hmm. do you think was the aim? To be honest with you, in my human nature, mm. I feel like he's testing the waters. Yeah, he's trying to see how popular he still is. Yeah, as of no one, whether was how would be the reception? How yeah. many people will follow me? In my human, you, you know one thing because, I appreciate about Mr. Lungo. Sorry, mm-hmm. uh, he's a lawyer, and I think he kind of understands the borders of mm-hmm. what he can do and what he can't do. Okay. So he pushes it to the extreme. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think. You think this is extreme? No, this is just the beginning. Mm-hmm. We've got some years before elections. I yeah. think he's about to pull more stance. Couple of years. Yeah, I think he's about to pull more stance. Mm-hmm. We are going to be shocked. Like we'll be here. <laughs> wow. You see, for me, I, can, I, I, it's hard to imagine what people are going through in Zambia. For them, I, I'm, I'm hoping that those are not people who they brought the PF yeah. or whatever. <laughs> but that was, that was a large I, number. As in Edgar Lungu. That was a large number. I want to think that those are just people. Yeah. They're just people, some of them who actually voted for HH. Yeah. So I shudder to think of what people are going through for people to start screaming, ah, buere, re, eh, ah, buere, re, re, <laughs> you know, it's actually ironic because I was watching <clears throat> an Al Jazeera news item just after the elections, after they announced mm. people at uh, Murungush were seeing, ah, buere, re, kuchawama. Ah, buere, re. <laughs> and they come out, song sounds very similar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah similar. They've just it's removed the chawama part. Yeah. 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 So here's a message from Mr. Lungu to you guys. If you have lost your ex, there's hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is hope. The country is crying for someone they chased. That's how it looks like. If you lost your ex, mm. there is hope. Yeah. 
Yeah, the UPND <laughs> have got everything to lose. Yeah. I mean, how did they let this happen? Imagine. Even Ed Galungu himself thought he's gone. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm. He, he, <laughs> he thought he's gone to the extent so much that he went to the extent of giving power freely. Like he just handed over power. <laughs> he didn't even put no, up no, a that fight. One, no, but that one, you, you don't have any right to pick up a fight. No, he, I know you don't yeah. have a right to pick up a fight, but because we've seen did, actually, but, but they, we've seen pre- previous uh, elections where they have tried to okay. kicks of a dying horse. Okay. Y- you understand? Yeah. To yeah? me the fight that they put up was that Mulungushi. Yeah, we, we we heard rumors now that is late we can say it. We heard rumors that Mr. Rupia Banda mm. uh, made some calls. Mm-hmm. What is this? Mm-hmm. I can't leave state house. Mm, yeah, we heard that story all of us. We heard about yeah. those generals who uh, visited his house yeah. from uh, from KK to go and tell him, say what you're doing, you can't. Serious? Yeah, I mean, you said we can talk about it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Chofai using the tactics of Mr. Lungu, taking it too far. <laughs> yeah, Edgar Lungu. Uh, yeah, and Dr. Never Smumba uh, made some remarks on this particular incident, which I do respect. I think he spoke with a lot of wisdom. I, I genuinely love Dr. Nevers Mumba. I think so. Because he's very objective and level-headed in most of the things he comments about. I don't think he speaks from an emotional point of view like one that we know. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, take a look at what he said. This is something some of us did not experience uh, during the 10 years of the Patriotic Front um, leadership. Uh, so we are celebrating together with uh, former President uh, Edgar Lungu uh, for the newfound freedoms that um, he can walk through the city um, and the police don't arrest him. So we are very, very grateful uh, to see that uh, the democracy that we wanted to see reinstituted in the country is slowly coming back into the country. However, we do have a concern. The concern that we have is the mission that he undertook to go and check on the prices uh, of tomatoes, which is his right. And uh, the comments that he made on how expensive things are in the country. I think we have a very, very big problem in appreciating his uh, lack of understanding that the country is in its current state economically because of the missed opportunity by the patriotic front when they were in government. Yeah, so same question I asked earlier. What was the purpose of all this? Are you now taking full advantage of democracy to now, in the words of Mr. Mwetwa, that we'll show you later on, mock the government? Ah, he wasn't happy. Uh, Sir Cornelius mm. Mwetwa, he mm. wasn't he happy. Be. How can he be happy? <laughs> no, he wasn't happy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I want to comment on what he's saying. Yeah. Uh, they, I don't just like the fact that people are trying to make it seem like um, there, there was uh, this, these guys, the UPN, they have introduced these freedoms, freedoms <laughs> of assembly, freedom of <laughs> association, because they tried to make a big thing out of it. Yeah. And this is what also is touching on this uh, Mr. Mumba. He's right to say that during the PF, times were hard. Yeah. It was hard for an opposition leader to do that. Yeah. But also the UPND, to me, they are not any better. Because it could also be that if you have managed to hit Galung, it's only that they didn't see it coming. Yeah. Probably if they went to the police and said, no, as a former head of state, I want to have a procession, same so Yeah. And would have seen full force yeah. there so that they don't do it. So I can't entirely say that uh, the UPND are any better because of that situation. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. And also I, yeah. because of the things that we've seen in the past. I think it's like picking a needle in a haystack. That's true. Mm. It's, uh, uh, I, don't th- th- I don't think that expression was correct. Let's say f- seeing a, never mind the idioms. Badness, badness never mind way. the idioms. <laughs> I wanted to say seeing a forest in spite of the tree, but I thought, <laughs> no. Still doesn't fit. What I'm trying to say is you can't pinpoint one particular, contextualize out of one incident. Okay. You need a group of excuse of scenarios mm-hmm. with which you can Yes, yes, you're yeah, right. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I agree. And the police were not too amused. Um police spokesperson or rather police public relations officer, Mr. Ray Hamonga, had this to say. 
Uh, today we observed a concerning incident involving, this was May 9th, by the way, involving former President Edgar Lungu, who led a group of individuals from town center around 11.30 hours into Cairo Road, causing significant traffic disruptions, or rather disruptions to traffic. We want to emphasize that such actions constitute an unlawful assembly, and regardless of one's former status as head of state, adherence to the law is non-negotiable. We thereby caution former President Lungu that no one is above the law and the police will not hesitate to enforce it. Engaging in activities that disrupt public order and safety will not be tolerated. And those who act in an, with impunity will face legal consequences. We urge former President Lungu to conduct himself within the confines of the law and refrain from actions that disrupt public peace and order. Failure to comply will result in the necessary legal actions being taken. Yeah, that was the police not too amused. Mm. They believe he was disrupting order and safety and yada, yada, yada. Mm. You get it. Yeah, so it got them yeah. by surprise. That's what I think. Caught them by surprise, eh? And Mr. Muetua also added on, <laughs> he had to say something. Thank God we don't have a video for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> government has advised the opposition patriotic front faction to stop mocking government and police for allowing former President Edgar Lungu to walk freely in the central business district of Lusaka. So this warning is going to the Patriotic Front for allowing Edgar Lungu. Now, I don't know which faction of Patriotic Front is referring. Who should be addressed in this sense? Is it Uka? Is it? I don't know. He said PF? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he said PF. <coughs> By the way, who's going to pay Mr. Kalandanya? Is it the, <laughs> With the Edgar Lungu faction or the... That's, Mount that's Sampa that's faction, faction. yeah, but because yeah. there's uh, yeah. a court ruling to that effect, so we exactly we, we reported on it about two weeks ago, eh? mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't know which PF the police also is, or rather, not police, but Mr. Muetwa is addressing. No, but he's talking about the PF of Edgar Lungo. He's talking about the PF of Edgar Lungo. Yeah, are they I still think. PF? They are. They still are PF. So maybe he's confirming that this confusion is just confusion. PF is PF. Or, or maybe he's adding on again uh -huh. to confusion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's showing us to say the real PF is this. This is just a game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. After all, Mr. Sampa has refused. No, you have refused. I'm not a legitimate, legitimate president. So pay Mr. Kalandani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Mr. Lungu, now that he's fully back on social media, mm -hmm. responded. As if he didn't deactivate his account. I know. Ish. But Zambians, how? how? You know, I was blocked by this page a long time ago, and I've never been unblocked. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you see these people for who they are? Yeah. Yeah, this is like uh, an abusive ex. I <laughs> see what I say? There's hope. <laughs> if your ex left, there's hope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Mr. Lungu said, power to the people is the original meaning of democracy, while a clenched fist is its symbol. Today, HH is using this very symbol to abuse and hold a firm grip on police, ZRA, DEC, ACC, ECZ, Judiciary, Parliament, and other public institutions to instill fear in our people. It's a big mistake. From my experience as Republican president to date as an opposition leader, I have seen that everywhere I go, crowds of Zambians greet me with clenched fists, symbolizing power belongs to us, the people. To me, it's a reminder to all of us in politics that in a democracy, power belongs to the people. It is important to professionally and ethically use power. Don't abuse it. The people we see across the country have the power to give anyone power and take it away from them. It's their power as citizens from God. Therefore, let us watch and pray as politicians because constitutionally power belongs to the people and the people have the final say on politics. May God bless you all and remain patriotic citizens. Happy Sabbath. Uh, Mr. Lungo is not Seventh-day Adventist, by the way. Yeah, but that was his response. He said power to the people and what he was demonstrating there was the people's power because he talked about how wherever he goes, crowds of people, I like how he used <laughs> crowds of people come to greet him <coughs> with clenched fists <laughs> while they scream, Abwedede. <laughs> if we are not careful in the next 10 years, we might be hearing a song, the same song with Chawam at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you know, uh, I've just got a few words for that post. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of a saying, uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing? Yes. Yeah. And something else I would say, this is karma. These are mm. crocodile tears. 
Yeah. What goes around comes back around. Oh yeah. 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 I'm not trying to say this to uh, encourage people perpetrating this. I'm saying this so that politicians should learn lessons. Yeah. If you mess up the systems. The, 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 same, the same home, systems you set up the are the chicken, ones that are going to. Yeah. The chickens will come home to roost. Yeah. 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 I like that. Uh, what did you think about the show? Ah, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was a good show? Uh, I wish I could say more things about it, Galungo and the friends, but let's, uh, we'll have it. Hopefully I mean, it's Ed a Galungo developing story. Maybe next week you'll be walking on the copper belt. We don't know. Never <laughs> yeah, know what to should. expect from him now. He should. <laughs> hey, he, should fact, eh? he should try something. If he thinks he's powerful enough, yeah. he's got the police and say he wants to walk. Yeah. In fact, give them two weeks in advance. <laughs> then we see. Anyway, to leave you, we are going to give you a reminder of just what it was like uh, under his government mm. with the police and public gatherings. Mm. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Because the president went to a market or also go to the, to the market, we are going to, to smoke you with tear smoke. Or we are going to arrest you. And don't say why didn't you arrest the Republican president. He is not subject to the provisions of the Public Order Act. We are enforcing the laws which were given to us by you, the people. Sir. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.